for a good time. Good time. Then you came to the right place. Cause right now we about to get lit. Got something cooking in the pot. Okay. So you should grab a seat and take a shot. Cause this vibe is about to come. Come here, in the kitchen. I'm gonna serve in the dish. They either hate it or the love it, but they know I don't miss. Cause who came to with the vocals, least to be with a hit. Shout out to Steel Magazine, let them know we the shit. Disturbingly. What's going on, brother? What up, homie? Hell, man, another day, man. Another beautiful day out here. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Listen, man, you know what I'm saying? There's always work to be done, no matter how much celebrating we do, though, right? Oh, yeah. There's tons of work to be done. Yeah. How you holding up over there, man, with this uh, with this corona nonsense, man? Ah, right, man, it's a little rough. You know what I mean? I got a pregnant wife. She about to give birth in, like, three weeks. So, oh, man. yeah, it's a little, uh, a little testing. Mm -hmm. Especially when she's a hypochondriac, so this like feeds into her uh, paranoia. Oh, yeah. So it's a little yeah, rough. Yeah, I can dig it. You looking mm -hmm. good, though, man. You looking good. Look like you nice and healthy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, what I mean, I try. That's what I well, definitely try, man. Yeah. So, um, I um, mean, I got a bunch of stuff to ask you, man. You listen. You don't stop working. I see that. You know, what I mean, mm -hmm. it's like, like yo, even when you ain't got the know. camera rolling in one way, you doing something else. So. You know what I mean? So I see you got a, uh, an animated series now. Yeah, with the family, man. Hey, if we stuck in the house, man. It's always time to work, man. You can work no matter where you at, whatever position you're put in. I, I just, I'm just gonna keep grinding and grinding and grinding. That's what's up. That's what's up. But you got, you got two of them though, right? Then you do another, um, another animated series too. At first. Yeah, we, we started, we started Hoodfellas right when the coronavirus actually kicked in. We, we did it based on the coronavirus, and um. It was supposed to be funny because we didn't think this shit was gonna hit the way it did. Right, we were just right. kind of laughing about it, and um, it was supposed to be a, a web series. So we were gonna go do a whole bunch of uh, the first weekend we started filming. Mm -hmm. That Sunday <laughs> is when the first uh, we got the first case in my in my city. Okay. And I called it off, you know, because my my wife has she has uh, health issues with her lungs and stuff like that. So I was like, I'm not going to take a chance with her and this and that. I didn't think it was going to last like it did. Mm -hmm. So we ended up stopping our uh, production. But I was like, I already had we already filmed and mm -hmm. I knew I had filmed just enough. I was like, you know what? Let's just throw it out as a, a short movie because we making it our business to stay consistent. Like mm -hmm. Vengeance, we seemed like we had a problem where we just wasn't consistent enough. Right, right, right. So I had went on and was like, we had all these projects lined up before my um, daughter was going to be born. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I want to get these projects done before she's born. That way it'll cover the whole summer. Like I'll be dropping something every week the whole summer. Right, it right. just didn't work out that way, you know what I mean, with, with all this. But mm -hmm. I got creative, found something else to do. Yeah, listen, I'd, I'd be remiss not to uh, introduce you the right way. You know, we just jumped on here, started talking like, you know, we were just right. having a conversation. But I got to give a, a, you know, a welcome and anything to my man Q from Ellen Productions. Um, Q is the co-creator um, of, of Vengeance Web Series. You have a partner. Um, right? I'm the creator. I'm the I'm the everything. Yeah, I, I do have a, as far as the production company, I do have a president. I have a vice president. Stuff like that, right. but I am the CEO. I am the writer and creator of Vengeance. Everything we put out, I'm pretty much I I'm, I do everything. Okay, see, and um, you know, and he has the uh the animated series Hood Bellas, um at um short movie short and animated series. What's this new one called? The new one is Death Do Us Part. Death Do Us Part. Um, listen, man, I seen you in um in Force to Sin too. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? You chopping up bodies coming over the bridge, chopping up bodies and coming yeah, back man. <laughs> Yeah, man. I, I got a chance to work with Ray Luke, man. He's a uh, probably the best director I've ever met. I mean, the man is so talented at what he does. And um, I had hooked up with him when he was doing uh, Give Me the Loop. Mm -hmm. That was his uh, web series before Foster Sing. It's a mm -hmm. uh, hook classic. It's a great web series. 
And um, we just got to talking when he started foster sin, and I was like, wow, that mean that means so much to me because I I was a foster kid. Okay. And I I was in a I was in a fucked up foster home. Right, right. So I can relate to the stories that he tells, and I, and I love the originality of what he did. Mm -hmm. So we just got talking, and we got cool. And um, one day he asked, he was like, he put it out there on the gram, or oh, if anybody had a house that he could film at. Mm -hmm. So I I. I hit him up, was like, yo, if you want to take a trip to Jersey, I'm like, you can use my house. Mm -hmm. And then one thing led to another, and he said, oh, he needed actors to kind of die. I was like, yo, I got actors. All my actors will be willing to die. That's like, because that's one of the hard things is finding people that are willing to shoot a death scene. No, Everybody no, no, get no. a little weirded out when it comes to uh, shooting death scenes. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. but I my actors, that. they cool like that. They don't, they don't care. They know this is just, we, we doing this just for, a lot of this is for fun, like, I'm doing it because I, I want to do something with it. I love being creative. I like mm -hmm. thinking of something, creating it, and putting it out there so I can see it myself. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I don't really yeah. get strung up on all the views and how popular it gets. Like, that's not that's, me. I don't, that's, that's I, I don't want to be famous. So that's definitely matter. something to, not to not to get hung up on. Like people, you know, every every time they put something up, they looking it to the left. They looking to the left to try to you know sense see what's going on. Anything on uh, YouTube to see how many people saw it or whatever like that. And you lose, you lose focus in sight of, of the creativity, like you said, you know what I mean? Um, and, and it's like, I, I think that, and I know I put up a video and everything about the, the, the key components and everything for, um, for uh, web series or whatever like that before, but creativity amongst all else and anything is always going to, you know, if you're chasing it because you know, you want acceptance and accolades and anything from friends and fans or whatever like that and anything, you're going to lose something along the way. But like you said, yeah. you're not doing it for the creativity just because you love to get that camera in your hand or you love being yeah. in front of it or whatever like that, then, you know what I mean, something's going to falter, you know? I mean, you, there was all facts. So what you put up, that list was really good. Mm -hmm. And um, I agreed with the whole list. It definitely was on point. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to get better. Yeah, 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 yeah. But my, my thing is every a lot, a lot of different people, like, they tend to judge really quickly on what they see. And it's... This is a learning curve, for especially people like like me. I have no formal training with film, no formal. I never owned a camera, mm -hmm. never didn't own a computer until I started doing this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So a lot of people don't realize that you got to kind of look past past it sometimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's great when you have great quality because you have great equipment and stuff like that. But you got people like when we started Vengeance, Vengeance, the first three episodes were shot on a cell phone. Mm -hmm. It was edited on a cell phone. Yeah. I didn't even own a computer. Yeah, first three. And those first three got us nominated for two Urban Web Series Awards. That's what's up. That I mean, is, And that's on a cell phone. That's that's the stories right there. That's, that's dope. Because, yo, when you think about no formal training, you shoot on the web, on a cell phone, um, you got people in Aiden who are acting who've never done acting before or whatever like that, you know what I mean? Yo, that's dope right there. That's what makes... To be honest with you, when when I started, when I decided to start shedding light on like web series or whatever like that, um, I don't even have a dog in a fight. You know, what I'm, saying? I'm not doing a web series or nothing like that. I just think that that's dope and anything. When I see people who don't have the mm -hmm. training, don't have nothing, anything, and they make something out of nothing, you know what I mean? Yo, that's dope because that's where the real, that's real, that's more talent to me than somebody who walks into a, a production or a set and anything that's already put together, got the lights, got the boom mics and anything, got the cameras all over the place or whatever like that. All you got to do in there and anything is just, you just show up and anything you know what I'm saying yeah. and, and, you know, put your best foot forward. What you guys and anything is like, not only you putting your best foot forward, but you also, you actually building a foot. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you know, everything you do is, is from the ground up. And, anything. and I thought that was the dopest thing in the world, man. And, uh, to me, it means a lot more. I mean, mm -hmm. we, the whole reason I started doing this to begin with was to leave a legacy for when, God forbid something happened to me. Mm -hmm. My kids can go back and look at it and be like, mm -hmm. there there goes my dad. I can mm -hmm. hear my dad's voice. I can see his mannerisms. You know what I mean? And that's mm -hmm. why we did it. It wasn't, it wasn't to get famous. It wasn't to get uh, 100,000 views on YouTube. It wasn't to mm -hmm. win awards. I mean, that was nice. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? To start getting some type of accolades and people to start recognizing your hard work. Yeah, that is good. Like, mm -hmm. it started to shift. Mm -hmm. And that all started with that first Urban Web Series Awards. When we went in there, and, um, like, I was watching a lot of web series when we first started. That's when I – I didn't know nothing about web series until we started. 
And then I heard I heard about Money and Violence, and I heard about all these big shows. Uh, Mayhem ha is one that's a around my community, so may I, I had to check out Mayhem, and then I started getting into them. Like, wow, these damn things is good. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. wow, okay. I, I like this. Mm -hmm. So watching them and watching them. When we went to that first Urban Web Series Awards, I was we was in a building full of these these people I was watching. Right. And some of these shows, you're talking about quarter million views, half a million views. Like, they're not small shows. This is Netflix. like big shows. Better than what's yeah. on Netflix, right? Yeah, right. And I'm like, damn. I'm in here. I, yo, I, I don't even, I, I'm not the type of person to get starstruck, but like, I was surrounded by a lot of people. And it was like, it was like the Hood Grammys. I'm like, wow. Yeah. Like, I knew we, sh to me, I felt, I was like, we don't deserve to be here. Like, mm -hmm. what we did, yeah, it was nice. I, I'm glad they they honored us by uh, nominating us, but we didn't deserve to be there, and I knew it. So I didn't expect to win. Mm -hmm. But not winning, that that kind of hurt. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it definitely hurt. Mm -hmm. And I was, right after we left, I was like, yo, we got to step it up. Mm -hmm. That day, I, we came home. I ended up buying all this equipment, new cameras, a computer, Editing software, like didn't did realize how much money this shit was gonna be. You know, what I mean, thousand dollar camera, yeah. two thousand dollar computer, another thousand yeah. dollars on this thousand. You're like, wow, what the hell? Next thing you know, you in the hole. Yeah, but that's when we really started to turn because it, I felt like, yo, we can really succeed at this. Mm -hmm. Like, I think we can do something that nobody else is doing. Yeah, once you and once you get all that equipment, you like, I gotta create now. Now I gotta yeah. create. Yo, I gotta yo, you know what I mean? It kind of sucks because I just we just went out and sport went and got a uh, 4K camera, really nice camera. Actually, the same camera that Ray Luke uses for Foster Sin. Okay. I got the same exact equipment. I reached mm -hmm. out to him and asked him what type of equipment did should I get, and he told me, and I, I went out and bought it immediately. Mm -hmm. And that's when this Corona shit happened. Yeah. And it was like, damn, I don't even. I got a new toy, and I ain't even got a chance to play with it. That's so crazy. that kind of hurts. So, so what you guys gonna do with the um with the vengeance series? You are gonna come back to it? You are gonna um add on to the vengeance series, or you are gonna stop it off there? Again? I I want to end it. Mm -hmm. I, I I do. I we made so <laughs> many mistakes with vengeance. Vengeance was a definitely a learning curve. Mm -hmm. Um, I we pretty much made every mistake you can make mm -hmm. in this business. Every every mistake we made, and um. It could have been so much bigger if we would have been more consistent. If I would have went and got real actors and not people I, that I, I used to run the streets with. Because that, everybody that's in Vengeance is people that ran the streets. There's not one act. I got. I think we got one actor and you only see the back of his head. You don't even see him. Damn. You know what I mean? At all, all the people we filmed with, nobody had any type of acting experience, nothing. And I think that really hurt it. And I think I'm past the point where we can write that ship. Mm -hmm. So I kind of want to end it. I want to end that chapter and, and start start on something fresh. And we got so many so many projects I have, we just didn't get the chance. I think that I think that mistakes make great stories. Um, I, you know, um, you know, of course we always got to figure out a way how we're gonna cap it off and anything or whatever like that. But um, like I was telling I was telling um my man Illa G from a New York Minute web series. Um, mm -hmm. I told him, I said, listen, man, he said, hey, I hate that first season. I hate my first season. I said, nah, I said, those mistakes make great stories, man. I said, you know what I mean? Because you can always look back on them and say, like, yo, we did this with this. This little, this, this that's, little, you know? And that's why series True Thoughts, I always mm -hmm. did the first episode mm -hmm. of the first season. I didn't mm -hmm. want to do when they got better. Right, right, right. I wanted right. to show it at, I wanted to see it at their worst. Because mm -hmm. everybody knows that first episode of that first season is your rawest. That's your rawest project right there. Mm -hmm. no it's always going to have the most mistakes. It's just everything. And that's why I like watching it because it shows you a real good appreciation when you watch the rest of their seasons and you're like, damn, they got really good. Like Project Heat is one. Project yeah. Heat got so good in the, in the four years that they've been doing, doing their show. Mm -hmm. Like you just watch the growth. Everything from how they animate the uh, intros and everything is like wow, like they really got good. Yeah, yep, yep. Even yeah, that's why we did that. 
the way the way Foster Sin um his intro, like you can tell that there's a lot of growth even before the show even starts. Like I'm wild. I just oh, watched the new episode that came out in 2018 today, and I'm like, damn, this dude got good, man. Ray got good. Ray Ray is beyond. He's past that learning curve. Like mm -hmm. Ray is really, really good. Now, I'm not saying he's perfect, cause um, I don't know if you watched last night's episode. I, like I, I've seen, I seen little things. I was like, damn. Mm -hmm. I, like I, I, of course, I, I'll end up pulling him to the side, and we'll talk about him. Like mm -hmm. it was like, all right. It's not perfect yet. And I know he, he's a perfectionist. He wants it perfect. Mm -hmm. But it, it's the small things that doesn't hurt the show, and most people probably didn't even see. Mm -hmm. like, but now, now when, you, when you've directed something, you got like what's called the director's eye. You start to see the littlest things, mm -hmm. and it'll bother you. Mm -hmm. And I know Ray probably watching it last night, seeing it, and was like, damn. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, I that's, probably don't even have to point it out to him. That's, that's what really, that's what really like, kind of piqued my interest in a lot of the web series now and anything beyond just the whole, like I said, start, like, like you said, we started watching Money and Violence and then whatever after that. That's what piqued my interest because I would look at it from a different eye. And anything. I would see things and like, I'll start scrutinizing. And I'm like, all right, what's missing? Yeah. What didn't they do? Or what, what should he have done there? Or whatever like that. So, you know what I mean? So I'm pretty sure, Nathan, you know, your eye, Ray's eye, Illa's eye, you know what I'm saying? Um, Mo's eye, all of those guys who's putting out these dope web series and everything, they see the mistakes that they make afterwards or whatever like that. But like I said, I don't have a dog in a fight. I don't want to do a web series. I just enjoy the craft and the the, the, the ability that you dudes got. You know what I mean? And I just think like, like y'all should, he, like, the world need to see what you guys are doing the same way that they see these series that's on Netflix. They need to see this. Cause you know what I mean? It's like, come on, man. The same, the same, if not more, work goes into what you guys are doing with the minimalist, you know, what I'm saying, amount of uh, amount of help. You'll see a lot. You'll see a lot more originality in, in some of these web series. I mean, mm -hmm. you, you do have web series that um, all right, it's the same hood story. You know what I mean? People mm -hmm. selling drugs, they're getting the beef shootouts. But right. then you'll have some that have such an intricate story that right. you're like, why aren't they on Netflix? Right. If you right. give them, and a lot of them, they'll say, "Oh, well, the quality's not there." Well, it's one person. Like Ray, Ray does everything by himself. He's like me. Mm -hmm. He films it. He edits it. Everything he does, he writes it, directs it. Everything mm -hmm. by himself. If you give Ray a dedicated crew, mm -hmm. he'll be on Netflix by next year. Yeah, without yeah. a doubt. Without yeah. a doubt, the first project he submits. <laughs> To Netflix, it'll get approved without yeah. a doubt because he's that good. I think a lot of I think a lot of you guys. Um, all you need is a, a team. That's it. That's all you need is a team. You know what I'm saying? The create the, the creativity is there. It's there. You know what I mean? Um. So tell me about the true the true series. Um. Tell everybody about that. The, um. Well, series True Thoughts was something we wanted to do to promote the smaller web series, like like. A lot of times, people, they don't get a lot of views because people just don't know about it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They they might just tell their friends. They might throw one or two posts on social media. But it doesn't really, like, there's one. We end up doing 10, we did 10 different web series mm -hmm. that are small. Mm -hmm. And small, in my mm -hmm. eyes, was under 10,000 views. An average of 10,000 views per okay. episode. That mm -hmm. that me, you're a small, you're still a small web series, and so we we did ten different ones, and the one that ended up winning, who we thought was the best up and coming web series, we we went got an award for him, sat down with him, did an interview. Uh, it was mm -hmm. this uh, web series called the Recession. Recession, yeah, the Recession. The Recession <laughs> quality wise is just as good as Foster Sin. Yeah. The acting is, it looks like they're all professional actors. It doesn't look like anybody that doesn't know how to act. Exactly. Yep. Yep. It's such a great story. I'm like, how do these people don't have 100,000 views? Because I, I watch more web series pretty much than anybody. I, and I put money on that. I really watch. I watch thousands of web series. Not just mm -hmm. one or two. I, every web series that comes out, I watch. Mm -hmm. If somebody sends me one. If I start following a new web series on Instagram, I'm I'm going to watch it. I, mm -hmm. I want to see it. And 
the recession was that good. I'm like, how the hell are some of these shows getting 100,000 views and the recession's only getting 10,000? Yeah, yeah. Or less. And it's so good. Mm -hmm. That's just marketing right? at the point. That's just marketing. That's just a matter of people knowing about it. You know what I'm saying? Once um, people start sharing it and everything, then uh, it kind of goes a little bit. It goes a lot further. But that's know? why we did. That's why we did series True Thoughts. It was all right. I don't have a ton of followers, but it's a couple extra, mm -hmm. and you get one person. That person likes it. He tells one person, and then you know how the effect goes. It just keeps going and it grows. So mm -hmm. if I can get one or two more people to watch this web series or any of these ten web series, if they like it, they're gonna tell somebody. You know what I mean? And it's help promoting other people. Right, right. And, and that's why we did it. That's the whole so, main reason why we did it. What aside from aside from equipment, um, aside from uh, uh, just not knowing how or the expertise or whatever, what what issues did you bump into? Um, you know, and with like trying to put this whole this whole thing together, the whole um, LM Productions, uh, the whole dedication, dedication. It's you. You don't find too many people out there as dedicated as me. Mm -hmm. You don't find people that grind the way I do. You know what I mean? That's a certain person, certain type of person that's like that. Mm -hmm. Ray is one of them. Ray, that's why me and him, we connected so well because mm -hmm. we're both the type of people that can work a 15-hour shift and then go out and film for six hours. Go home, get an hour of sleep, and then go back to work and do it all over again. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Some... Most people aren't bred like that. Mm -hmm. And that that's what it was. Like when you deal especially when you're dealing with without money. Mm -hmm. That's one of the biggest thing. Now when you throw money in it, everything's different. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. now you're paying for somebody's services. They have no choice but to stay dedicated or they don't they get fired, they don't get paid. Mm -hmm. But doing it when there's no profit involved, people don't have that same drive. Right. They don't and see that vision. Yeah, and that's it. Not to mention, I, I made the mistake. I, I made the same mistake most people do. Starting something with a bunch of friends. Mm -hmm. And everybody knows you can't mix friends with business. It just doesn't It doesn't work. And that, that was, I would say that's my biggest roadblock. But the, hard, the harder part of that, the, the harder, the flip side of that is, if they're not friends, they're going to be wanting the money up front. You know what I mean? You got to have a budget from somewhere. You feel me? Like, you know what I'm saying? You go, you grab um, strangers who know the craft and who knows, you know, something about whether it's acting or holding a camera or holding the mic, whatever, they start asking for money up front. You know what I mean? So it's like kind of, you know, it's almost like you got to use a friend and, you know, uh, somewhat. Well, it, dep it depends on the, the reason you're doing it. Are you doing it as an investment where you want to see a return? Mm -hmm. Or, like I said, in my case, money was never an issue because we never thought about profiting from it. Mm -hmm. We we said that from day one because there, you got web series out there. I'll give you one. Oh, mayhem! Mm -hmm. Anybody that's been watching uh, web series for the last six years know what happened with the cast of Mayhem. Mm -hmm. Money got involved. Same thing with Money and Violence. Money got involved. What ended up happening? Both these great shows stopped making shows. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you got people that feel like oh they deserve more money than me. Oh, mm -hmm. I do more work than him. I should, you know, money complicates everything. Mm -hmm. So I really wanted to stay. I, I told my team, like, yo, I don't want it. I don't anything that comes with money. I don't. I don't want no parts of it mm -hmm. because that's how you're gonna mess up friendships. You're gonna, you're gonna, we gonna all split because everybody gonna have their own, their own way of thinking when it comes to business. Mm -hmm. And I never wanted that at all. So what happens? What happens? Somebody, um, somebody dropped the bag off to you. You know what I mean? They drop the bag. They're like, yo, listen, um, we need 10 episodes. Um, here's a, you know, here's, here's a hundred. You know, it's a hundred racks and anything. Yo, what happens then? Then that's, it's being split 50, 50 to everybody. No mm -hmm. matter what you do from the smallest to the biggest. That's mm -hmm. it. Easy, lose, easiest way. Do you lose creativity at that point or do, um, does the creativity stay? Well, in no. that? <laughs> if, you, if there's money involved to create, we ran, I ran through a lot a lot of problems. Like the one thing I went always wanted to make different about Vengeance than any other show was mm -hmm. our death scenes. Okay. Like the whole show is about people dying. And it's I don't 
there the, there is a story, but I didn't want to lace it so hard to where it starts to get boring. Because I, I watch some shows that I really like, but they'll have these parts where they it's just talking and talking and talking and right. it's like God, come on, man, let's let's get to what we want to see. We want to see the shootouts. We want to see the drama. We want to see something. <laughs> I don't want to hear people talking. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So we made sure we was going to have these crazy ways of people getting hurt or kidnapped or deaths. Like, that's why we won the uh, Best Special Effects <laughs> Award, because we really poured into that. I knew that from day one. Mm -hmm. I, I told Show of Films three years ago, I'm coming for that award. Mm -hmm. That's my award. I'm getting that award. Three years later, I won that award. That's what's up. And hopefully... <laughs> Hopefully I went back to back because I'm I'm trying for this year too. If if we ever have the damn 2020 Urban <laughs> Web Series Award show, I don't know. This this whole coronavirus got everybody. There. Yeah, 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 kind of. Hey, but, let me ask you. You um, are you a part? Um, what part did you have in um High Rise? The High Rise um. I, see you I, speak I, I pretty much play myself. Uh, Kitty P is um he's the first person web series I've ever seen. Okay. Um. A friend of mine that passed away is in his show, mm -hmm. and when when he when he was alive, he was telling me he was in a movie. So when he passed, the day he passed, I'm like, I'm trying to find where this movie is, and then I I got in contact with Kitty P, and he told me, no, it's a web series. So I started watching the web series, and that's how Vengeance started, all because of him. Okay, and um. So I, I did uh I did some teaser trailers for uh, Vengeance because we were still filming and still developing, and I did a teaser trailer that featured the high rise in it, mm -hmm. and he seen it, and was like, "Yo, that was dope, yo, I appreciate you promoting us like that." I was like, "Yo, no doubt," because that's how I am. One mm -hmm. one hand washes the other, you know. What I mean, I, I have no problem promoting everybody. It don't matter to me. You know what I mean? I'm not in. Like I said, I don't want to be famous. That's mm -hmm. nothing I want. Mm -hmm. And um, he was just like, yo, I, I want you to film for my show. And I was like, all right, well, I want you in my first episode. So I got him in my first episode, and then he got me in, like, two or three of his episodes. It was, uh, I think, season two. We did a crossover between Vengeance and High Rise. So a couple of my actors acted in it, and it yeah. just went from there. And me and him built, like, a real good uh, friendship. And how much, how much, I meant to ask you just before, how much of of uh, vengeance is real life for you? Everybody asks that. Experiences, personal, personal experiences. It's very much embellished. Mm -hmm. The thought process is one hundred percent authentic. Mm -hmm. Um. I, I've been to prison more than once. Mm -hmm. um, I've been to prison because of people ratting on me, snitching on me. Mm -hmm. Vengeance is the thoughts that if any man, if you've been snitched on and you're in a six by nine cell, mm -hmm. vengeance is the thoughts you have while you're in that cell. Mm -hmm. When you're going through that anger phase, when you come home, like you really want to hurt that person. You want to do you want to torture them. Like these are the thoughts that are, that most men have towards somebody that take away their freedom. Mm -hmm. So the thoughts, the thought process behind vengeance is all authentic. That's those are thoughts that I have mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. had, at, had in that, that position. Okay. So, so that's where vengeance <laughs> really comes from. It's just the thoughts of a man in himself. Okay. And you just throw them together and put and piece it together as episodes. That's dope. I mean, so, some of the, some of the scenes are, are things that either I've seen, some I've done, mm -hmm. some I've heard of. Like it, it comes from a bunch of different sources, so it's no, it's not based on me or or anybody in per se. Mm -hmm. But you know what I mean. It's more based on the thoughts. That's dope. That's dope. So, um, you guys were always called LM Productions, or it was something else before? No, I was always. It it was uh, just Vengeance Web Series, but we knew we was going to do the uh, production company eventually. Okay, okay, because that's what it I was. was uh, gonna be, it was going to be LM Productions because everything we've done always has been under LM Productions. Okay, got you, got you. Um, there was another thing I had to ask you. Um, man, there was something else I was going to ask you. I think you might have even answered it. Um, 
So you said it's all is definitely is based on you know sort. So and you you guys are based in New Jersey, right? Yeah. Does is is it? Let me ask you: Is it harder? Is it harder than anything shooting um and getting getting on that web series map being from Jersey? Or does it just don't matter where you're from because you're pretty much just shooting your story? No, I don't. I really, honestly, where you are, I don't think matters at all. Like in the storyline of Avengers, we never really say where we're from. I noticed that. I noticed that. And I, well, I can tell. A, a, lot had to, a lot had to do with it because my community um, actually did not support us at all and was trying to shut us down when we first started. Mm -hmm. so we first started it, uh, Avengers was supposed to be called The Slums. Okay. Well, so word got to a councilman. A councilman called me directly. Was like, "Nah, you can't be calling uh, our city the slums and this and that." And was making a real big, big deal about this shit. And I'm like, "All right, you know what? I don't want to go against the city because I know how I know how dirty they can play." Mm -hmm. Like, nah, I don't, I don't want no parts of this. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. they were sending was sending cops to us constantly. That was what I was going to ask you next. I was going to ask oh, you. I, I, I've been I've been laid down at gunpoint. While filming, I'm talking about I'm talking about the whole city police department. Came to, I live on a dead end, mm -hmm. and we was having a birthday party. So I had about twenty kids outside in the front of on this dead end in front of my house. I had the pizza man coming. I was just went around the block to shoot a quick scene. Somebody seen us, called the cops. As we were walking back to my house, here comes the cops. They came. It had to have been 20 people, AR-15s. I'm, I'm like, what the fuck? Laid us down. Get on the ground. I mean, but we was real respectful. It could have went left. It yeah, really yeah. could have went left because I have, a, I have a serious tendency of acting besides myself when the mm -hmm. police get involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I knew, we, I knew we didn't do nothing wrong, and I knew... They had a job to do, and I already knew in my head. I was like, somebody probably saw us what we were doing, thought it was real, called the cops. Let me not be an asshole. I was about to tell. I said, Q, you can't, you can't have machetes and guns and stuff and anything in the middle of the daylight. You yeah. know, with cameras around and anything, I think the cops ain't coming though, Q. Yeah. So, um, but they were real cool about it. They yeah, they was yeah. really cool about it. And one of the crazy things about it is, I didn't realize in New Jersey. New Jersey got a law that these these guns that you see in web series are illegal in the state of New Jersey. Like Word. airsoft guns, yeah, they're mm -hmm. all they are considered real guns in the state of New Jersey. Yeah, that's a good reason. That that's a good uh, excuse to shoot you, right? Not even that. I'm a two-time uh, mm -hmm. gun felon. Mm -hmm. One more weapons possession, I get life in prison. Damn, I didn't know this. Mm -hmm. Thank God I didn't act like an asshole when they did this because the sergeant had came see me a couple, like a week later and said, yo, we could have charged you with a weapons possession and that could have put you in prison for life. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, I didn't realize that. Damn. So that's, that's another part of the learning curve. Like, I had no clue about that. Like, what the hell? It's a, B, it's a, it's a BB gun. It's not even a metal BB gun. Damn it. And he's like, no, you look up the law. And that's considered a weapon in the state of New Jersey. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, it is. It is, it is nuts. That's and there's crazy. people that there's, there's people that actually got locked up for weapons possessions because of this. Mm -hmm. Could you mm -hmm. imagine being in a county jail and they you ask you what you in here for for a fucking yeah. baby gun? Yeah, you can't even tell that story. You got to make up something at that point. You got to make up something. You can't <laughs> tell nobody that. <laughs> that's crazy. So. So what um what's on the uh, horizon, yo? When this whole thing clear, all of the air clears, um, the air clears. Right now, I'm right now I'm concentrating on the uh, death doors part with the family because I'm having real fun with it. Uh, mm -hmm. we got we got some real crazy <laughs> stuff coming up. Um, mm -hmm. we're gonna include the baby. It's good. Mm -hmm. It's it's gonna be funny, man. I I'm really enjoying it right now. Um, mm -hmm. because it is coronavirus and then having a newborn baby, it's like ah. Like, I want to work. I want to go out and film, and I want to do this. But then, on one hand, it's like you really you want to take a chance with your family. Like, because mm -hmm. a lot of people have their indifferences of how they feel about this pandemic. Some mm -hmm. people think it's a bunch of bullshit. Some people think, oh, it's no worse than the flu. Yeah, Listen, yeah, yeah. motherfuckers, in my eyes, motherfuckers is dying. 
Can't take no chances. I'm not taking no chances with anybody I love. Yeah, yeah. That's plain and simple. I, I can't do that. As bad as, like, Ray Lou just reached out to me. He wanted me to actually film a scene. Mm -hmm. And I hit him, was like, yo, if I, I'll do it, but I got to wear a mask, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, he, he understood. I'm like, yo, I got a pregnant wife, bad health. I can't take no chances. Like, none. I just can't. Yeah, as, yeah. as bad as I want to, and as bad as I want to get back to normal life, mm -hmm. I mean, this is going to be the norm for a while. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Like, they might open this country, but that don't mean you're not going out there and taking a chance with your family. True. True and, I, story. and I ain't willing to do that, you know what I mean? Because if it happens, you're looking at yourself like, damn, I could have prevented it. Yeah, yeah. So that's a tricky question. So right now, I want to just focus on that. Probably right after that, we'll come back with a series, True Thoughts, Season 2. Okay. Do, do a couple more uh, of that. I got a bunch of stuff. I want to finish Vengeance. I want to do the uh, series finale. That's mm -hmm. already written out. It's already planned. I got uh, another web series we want to come out. I just wrote a movie. I got two movies, actually. Mm -hmm. I got a lot of things on the shelf. That's, uh, yeah, yeah. You know I what I mean? That. I'm just waiting to see how life dictates it. So, mm -hmm. like, I'm not putting no, no timetable on it. True. You All know right. what I mean? Well, listen, man, listen, I appreciate you. I appreciate your creativity. I appreciate your whole team. Um, no, I appreciate the uh, three true thoughts. I, I like that whole thing, you know what I'm saying, that you're doing with that, um, giving some light to, you know, new web series and whatever. Um, listen, um, I enjoy you coming across the bridge and forced to send, chop up a couple of things and heading back to Jersey. <laughs> wait, just wait. It get, it get a lot worse. Oh, oh God. It's going to get a lot worse. But yeah. Butch, Butch is a character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Butch is a serious character. When Ray's uncle was talking to him. It was too funny, man. I'm dying laughing because I'm I'm picturing your face and everything. I'm dying. I'm like, yo, this is hilarious to me. Yo, he you did a hell of a job, though. Yo, he did it. He did a dope job. He did a dope I, job. I'm like, damn, damn, he's a damn great actor. Dialogue. He did a really good job. I was caught. He had me on that dialogue. I was like, I was all into it. Like, oh, yo, this is crazy. Yeah, that was good. That was definitely. I thought good. my scene was actually gonna come in last night's episode when I seen that part, but I guess Ray tried to stretch it out. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. It's gonna get yeah. crazy though. Just be prepared. It's gonna get crazy. All right, All right. I'm waiting for this. Listen, yeah. man, I'm waiting for that. I'm waiting just like I'm waiting for you know any everything that you got coming down the pike. Um, yo, man, I appreciate you. Um, you know logging in and, you know, jumping on this call with me and everything, letting everybody know what uh, LM Productions is all about, what Vengeance Web Series is all about. Um, let them know who Butch, is, um, who Butch really is and everything. <laughs> um, I think Butch is sitting in a car right now. I don't think this is cute. Um, just to <laughs> let you know. <laughs> but, uh, yo, man, props to, um, props to you and your team and everything. And shout out to your, you know, your wife and your newborn on the way. Um, you know, much love to that. Um, yo, Last thing, last thing. I got one last thing. Top uh, top five, but I'll take the top three web series that you can give me. Top five. I'm not going to give you nothing that ain't being played no more. So I'm not going to give you Respect Life or Money and Violence. No, okay. You take it right off the table. Okay. Um, my, my number one is going to be Foster Sin. Not because okay. I'm in it. Not because I'm in it. I just think everything from the way he shoots, how he shoots, and his story is just phenomenal. It's it's so different from everybody else. Mm -hmm. My number two is going to be the recession. Recession is that damn good. My number three is going to be Project Heat. Mm -hmm. New York, I, I love Project Heat. One of my favorite shows. That's my top three. Let me see if I can give you two, two more that I really enjoy. Snakes. 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 Yeah, Snakes is a good one. Let me see. And right now, right now, I'm fucking with Heavy is uh, Loyalty and Betrayal. Loyalty and Betrayal, yeah? I yeah, like I'm, I'm, fucking, I'm fucking with that. They just dropped their new episode today. I'm actually going to watch that in a minute. Um, yeah, I, I would say right right now, because there's a, there's a lot out there right now. I love 848. That's another one. Mm -hmm. They on their season break. I would probably put them above snakes and um, loyalty and betrayal. Eight forty eight is a real good one. I like um, um, 
I like it was written. It was written as kind of as partnered up with uh, in that by the same guys. Actually, that's what I bet. I bet it was written. I, I keep thinking. I keep thinking they, they all day. It is. It was written. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's the same they, they produce both. And I'm kind of messed. I'm kind of messed up. I had a stop little TV trail. Yeah. That, that's kind of a, a sore subject right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I said the same I'm, thing. So I'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm a little pissed about that. But uh, me and SL, we're going to talk. Me and SL are definitely going to talk, man. I, um, That's somebody I'd like to work with. Yeah. I'd like to work with him. Mm -hmm. At least sit down and chop it up with him. Yeah. I mean, help him out because I want to see that uh, show succeed. It was written as a good one. Mm -hmm. Well, yo, um, like I said, I appreciate you, man. Um, Anything else you want to say to the people, Nate, before we sign off? Hey, man, just go out there and uh, support these web series, man. People work hard. They ain't making no money. They're dedicating a lot of time just just to give people something to watch and enjoy, man. Just go out there and support them. That's all. It don't take much. Mm -hmm. You click a damn button to like. Throw a comment out there. Mm -hmm. They got emojis now. It takes you two seconds to throw a little fire emoji. You mm -hmm. can throw a thumbs down for it. It don't matter. You know what I mean? Just show mm -hmm. these people. The respect they deserve, the support that they deserve. All this hard work, man. They doing it for your benefit. Whether yeah. you like it or not, they doing it for you. Yeah, yeah. Cause yo, listen, man, can't it, going to the movies is out. And you know what I'm saying? And it do get tiring, anything. You see everything I mean, who, on YouTube. Who wants to watch the same shit we watch as kids in remakes? Yeah. There's no originality in Hollywood no more. None. Yeah. There isn't. It's it's really bad. Listen, it's, man, it's I, say, bad. I say it all the time. I say web series is the new Hollywood. This is Hollywood next right here. This is Hollywood next. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially with the little the, the nutcases like Harvey Weinstein and everything, just putting, setting fire to Hollywood the way he did. This is the new it's, Hollywood. It's poli Hollywood is so politically fucked up right now. That's what it is. It's all, it's all the politics. So you got yeah. all these directors. Somebody's going to take a chance on one of these directors and get them a bag, and you're going to see how they sit here and create something special. Yep. Because yep. if you give you give Ray Lou a budget, mm -hmm. he's going to take over the world. Mm -hmm. And that's that, that's for real. He's he going to take over Maurice Paramore from Recession. You give him a budget, mm -hmm. he, he don't need millions of dollars either. Yep. He just need a budget to bring in names, yeah. to Who's bring in promotion. They definitely got a you vision I mean? and a story to tell. Yep. Yeah, they, they have the vision and they have the skill to do it. Mm -hmm. You give these people, you give some of these brothers and sisters the means. And I mean, what they do with it is going to be very special. Not to mm -hmm. mention they're going to give a lot of people opportunities. Because mm -hmm. Ray Luke, these they're not, they're not, you don't have to be a perfect actor. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? To work with them. They, they're willing to, to promote you. Mm -hmm. Like they're willing to work with you. That's what I, that's what I love about them. Mm -hmm. They're not high and mighty. Like oh, you ain't you ain't got no accolades. You ain't been in nothing, nothing like that. No, they. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're good judge of characters. Yeah, I definitely want to. I definitely want to sit and talk with Ray. Um, you know, I had a plan. I, I you know before all of this nonsense jumped off that I was actually gonna um sit and talk with every you know with you guys face to face and everything. They started getting kind of. You know what I'm saying? Long and drawn out with this corona thing that I said, you know what? We might as well do what everybody else is doing and get on this damn, you know what I'm saying? This split screen. Yeah, yeah man. Like this that. is going to be the norm for a while, man. Yeah, this is going to be the norm. Sucks, man. But uh, I definitely want to talk to Ray, man. I, you know what I'm saying? He's definitely a, a a sharp mind and anything in this whole film thing, this web series thing. So I definitely want to get a con have a conversation with him um, in the upcoming days. So um, I'll reach out to him and anything soon, too. Um, but yeah, man. Like I said, I appreciate you. Anything, um, you know, uh, you know, I'm always here for you, dudes, man. Anything, I'm always gonna support. You know, what I'm saying the web series. Appreciate um, you. You know, what I'm saying um, I always give you guys, the, you know, the fire emojis, like you said, the thumbs up. Mm -hmm. It ain't no fake to that and anything because I appreciate your hard work. So you know, what I'm saying you, just, you know, just keep doing that and anything, yo. Like you said, it ain't for the money and anything. So you always winning, but when that bag come and anything, don't you dare turn it down. Don't you dare turn. Oh, it they down. gonna. Yeah, when that bag come, they gonna hate me. They gonna hate me. <laughs> I'm telling you right now. If you wasn't riding with me when I was doing all these grinding, when I was up there three, four o'clock in the morning editing, if you wasn't there, no doubt. Don't ask for share time. 
<laughs> Word up. Yo, man, I appreciate you. I'm about to get out of here. All right, brother, man. Have a good day. Enjoy your weekend. You too, man. All right, brother. Peace. If you're looking for a good time, then you came to the right place. Cause right